hey guys welcome to my channel so i know you guys have a lot of questions in your head but i don't have time to answer so the thing is that i was working on some machine learning things from fun exercise today because i was getting bored and the reason the primary reason why i was doing all of this is because i met many people who told me like they are using chat gpt a lot in their day-to-day -day life uh, while writing code and i was not doing it so i realized that uh, I should do it. So what I did is I did some exercise today and I used chat GPT a lot basically for everything. And this was so interesting. So what I did. So if you remember like long time ago, I made this video, make this to happy, like make this to make them happy. This Instagram screensaver. Okay. In which what I did is I combined the photos of someone's Instagram account and okay, let hey me just show you and just put a background music something like this okay so it's basically a slideshow of images by using image viewer but this was not a video it was just my image viewer and today what i wanted to do is i wanted to make a slideshow out of someone's instagram and this will be a video okay but the problem is if you go to people's instagram they don't always have their own face where they are smiling or something okay they have some other things too sometimes they post some place or something so what i wanted to do is i wanted to use machine learning to detect smiling faces and only one face so if they have images in groups so okay so in this video i'm going to use this sample account so i took permission for this it's one of my friends so okay so one of my tibetan friend so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fetch every image in which only one person is there and he's smiling by using machine learning all right and then we are going to combine all of it and make a nice video i already i was doing it and i was almost closed like but let's do it again okay and this time i'm going to record all of this and let me close my discord and let me close why i am using my, this music app so i know you must be thinking what the fuck is going on with what all right so i'm even i even have like vs code and the vim extensions and everything uh, i'll let you know in some other video why okay and all right so what we are going to do is first let's just create go to code and make a white dude and whiteitude and here let me create a virtual environment so python minus m vnn so i'm going to install like uh, opencv and conda oh wait not conda oh forget it i'm going to do nothing first i'm going to okay activate it all right and pip3 install what install loader all right so let's install install loader to just first download all all this account all right and then we are going to you know separate images and do everything all the cool stuff and i'm going to use chat gpt a lot all right so let me just quickly move this here i'm still getting used to this thing don't know any shortcuts so what i'm going to do is install loader help because i don't want videos so minus v for no video so i'm going to download all of this and i don't want any metadata so no metadata no metadata json no okay no metadata json is enough so i don't want any video no metadata json and what else nothing i guess that's it so i have to log in and let's log in as book writer and then give the username all right so this is it i'm um, the session is loaded i'm logged in as box writer and it's going to start downloading all the images inside this directory okay so it's going to take some time let's just uh, meanwhile what should we do so meanwhile let me tell you how we are going to do all of this whatever we are going to do first of all i'm not even googling these days i'm using chat gpt so how to do a uh, face detection okay smile detection not while detection no code just cons um in python in python as any okay blah 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 i i guess this is telling us bullshit how to do face a smile detection in python all right so we are going to use chat extensively so okay let me tell you why chat so we are going to install this module opencv python and the thing is in opencv uh it's a vision library and what you can do is you can load some image do a lot of stuff but opencv provides some cascading algorithms like a cascade 
R cascade uh, OpenCV. Okay. And what these cascade algorithms do, it's, it's kind of like machine. Okay. You have to learn about ML if you want to understand everything. If you just want to, okay. It's kind of like this. So what happened is, oh, okay. Bad image, bad image. Let me open again. Good image. Okay. So what it do, it goes through some layers. So first it just see all the major factors uh, by which it detects a face. So first we have to do a face detection or to get smile detection and then it to uh, look some deeper features and then more deeper features and some more deeper features. And in the end of the day, it, it detects, it tells whether it's a face or not. Okay. And it just creates a rectangle around it. So you can do this by open CV. So that's a good thing. All right. You can use open CV and, uh, there is this thing, which is already present inside open CV. But the thing is, if you try to detect faces, it works correctly. But for me, detecting smile was actually really hard with open CV. Okay. It, it always sucks. It doesn't really work properly. So what we are going to do is, uh, we are going to use this empty CNN. I guess this is, this is the module Python module. And what this do is it, instead of using open CV, which is really basic internally, it use TensorFlow as you can see, and uh, we just have to install it and empty CNN already comes with like detect faces function. So we can just detect faces. But what about smile? Like, how do we, uh, you know, like get smile? So let's ask ChatGPT, MT, CNN, all of this, ha like I didn't research, I didn't went to Google. I just, you know, looked up on ChatGPT and this is how I figured it out. So when I, you know, realized there is something called hard cascade, I just searched like, what are the alternatives uh, of hard cascade for face or smile detection? And when I got a list, a long list, then what I did is I just wrote like, okay, what is the best alternative? And this is how I got like MTCNN. Okay. So Python code of MTCNN smile detection. So this is how we are going to detect smile using MTCNN. So I wasted some time with hard cascade method via OpenCV, but you don't have to, or I don't have to now. Okay. So, but one thing which sucks about this kind of detection, like with MTCNN is it only detect faces then from some facial landmarks, which is basically the points of, you know, left eye, right eye, and then nose, mouth, left mouth, right. Okay. It is just going to use some math algorithm and just figure out whether a person is smiling or not. All right. So smile, not smile. Okay. This time it's giving a different code. Okay. We are going to work with that. So this is kind of like, oh, it's, it's not so good, but I'm going to work with this, uh, with this because it worked for me and it did a good job. So I'm going to stick with it. But what I really wanted is, uh, can we just move this? Okay. Thank you. All right. So I'm glad that Gnome allowed me to do it. So the thing is that uh, all right, where I was. So I was saying that it worked for me, so I'm not going to bother a lot, but I still looked up a little and I wanted to get a complete deep learning model and then, you know, do a tra training and all these things just to detect a smile. But I thought like uh, for this tutorial, like for uh, this start, okay, this is going to work for us. Okay. So I'm getting unable to fetch high quality posts and let's see how many. Uh, images we got. Let's just delete all this txt and this id and gpg wc minus l 128 images. Can we work with this? Sure. All right. So, okay. So what we are going to do is let's just, let me just quickly check. I have another folder uh, in which I also downloaded these images. So I just let me just quickly check like how many gpgs we got. So I name gpg wc minus l. 196. God damn it. I should, I should just copy this folder instead of, let me just quickly delete this and just copy my older folder. Okay. Hmm. We can work with it. So now I got all the JPGs from ID. Let me just quickly show you it. See open dot. I don't know okay. why, why the default is let me open Nautilus. Hmm. Okay. Wow. It, it sucks. Ah, uh, Nautilus dot. All right. So as you can see, we got all the images from the ID. Now we have to do filter out like filtering out. Let me just zoom it. Okay. So we don't want like any image where I, uh, I see two people. Okay. So, okay. Let me just quickly. So let's write some code. Let's do the face detection. Let me 
uh, close all of this in my VS code. It's all, it's not like actual VS code. It's a uh, open source. I, I don't know. It's a um, O code O S S. Okay. Oh, what it's creating me a folder. Uh, how to open, let me just open files, go to make it small, go to code YouTube. Tweet. Okay. Copy folder, add folder to workspace. Hmm. All right, so here let me create a new file and let's call it mail uh, it already exists. Okay, I'm making it in the wrong spot. Let me delete this, remove, remove, delete. Okay, move to trash. Here, let me create a new file, mail.py. So now what we are going to do is we are going to write some code. All right, we are going to do some coding by ChatGPT. So MTN, I already did this, but okay, MTCNN. Oh, all right, so detect smile python code all right is my recording happening uh it's yeah it's it's working so yeah all right so i got the code let me just copy it and we need these libraries guys okay so here i am right now let me just go to altitude and deactivate my current activate pip install what what library i need mtcnn and tensorflow MTCNN and TensorFlow. Actually, I don't. Uh, okay, fine. Let's just install it again. Uh, it will download everything again. You know what? I already have a virtual end. Why not just use that instead of this? So, okay, let me. Why I'm not using VSH here? Oh, God. Let's just go to code and then faith detection source and then activate and go back. Go to YTT. That's it. All right, so let's just copy all of this. So I spent some time understanding this code. It's not like I just copy pasted everything and call it a day, but I just want to get done with this thing. Okay, let's delete all the, okay, let me not delete comments and oh God, accidentally deleted everything. Okay, so we imported empty CNN. We, okay, this is an image file. We have to have some sample image. So sample.jpg sample.jpg let's just get some sample quickly attitude and some some sample where the person is smiling uh, god god i guess this this no okay you you won't be able to see it right so some sample where the person is actually smiling okay this one is fine let me copy this copy copy uh, paste this rename sample all right, so this is it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, okay, we got this, we got this. So what we are doing is we are making a object from MTCNN and then we are just detecting face. And since we can get multiple faces, we are running a loop over faces. And then we are just um, extracting some facial landmarks to detect, to do the math, to um, you know calculate whether there is a smile or not. And if there is a smile, um, I don't know what this, okay. So it is, it is using some way to figure out like, uh, the threshold is kind of like a confidence and it's just writing a smile as a label on top of an image and also putting the uh, box around it. Like, okay. So else it is not smile, which is kind of weird. Like, uh, detect face and smile detection. Okay. Okay. So let's just save it and run it. So it's going to open the. Uh, window, uh, we'll see that. Okay, so Python main dot py and C. So yeah, it's using TensorFlow is working and it's going to pop up at any moment. Oh, okay, we got a key error, no step. Why? Mm, Chat you key error, no step. So this is I'm getting key error, no step. So this is what I'm trying to show. These days I'm doing things like this. I'm not doing anything. It's just like chat GPT is doing everything. I apologize for the mistake. The correct key no step and nose instead of no step. Okay. I don't know why you use no no step then if you already know. Okay, so let's just type run it again. I did this so many times, like I now understand how to use chat GPT in real world. Seriously. So as you can see, it's detecting smile. It's not making boxes, but it doesn't matter because I want to move all the images where you see a smile into some other, um, what it's called, like directory. 
uh, so I can do some other stuff on top of it. But uh, we still have to do some testing, all right? So we are not done with. We need a picture with no smile on it. Uh, something with neutral, neutral face. Okay, so God damn it, this girl is always so happy. Like it's okay. Let me just copy, and I thought no one is happy. Okay, so sample dot jpg. All right, so run it again. So this time I need neutral. Otherwise this thing sucks. And this code is change, not smile. Oh God, this works super perfectly. All right. So we we don't consider this as a smile, guys. Okay. I mean we can, but not these people. So for us, I guess this is enough smile. Like I barely smile. So we we use chat GPT and then uh, now I know like okay this is smile, this is not smile. So if it's smile, then what I want to do is. Uh, okay, I already know this, but I'm going to still show you like how to use chat GPT. So how to in Python move a, a file, okay, OS um, from one directory to another. Okay, so I know, I know how to do it. It's import shuttle, sh shuttle, whatever. And then here, here I'm going to put our destination or I'm just going to use shuttle dot move and here let's just give the f string what is the f string what is the file name first of all okay this is all right we are not even running a loop over all these images so how about let's just first run a loop over and everything okay so this is another example of chat gpt all right so see this how to loop how to loop oh God. how to loop over all the images dpg in a directory with python i suck at typing all right this is really good you know previously i used to do all of this with stack overflow but now it's so easy let me just copy all of this and just paste it and that's it that's it all right so this is going to just you know loop over all the jpg files and you know what let's just comment out everything to just test test this small small feature okay so print out processing file path okay let's just see wait i need to change the directory name which is going to be that is better this is better there. okay there. all right let's do this let's okay so we are getting all the files all right let's do this thing and let's remove this let's uh, run loop everything just put inside even this thing let's just put inside this if statement you know what what what's better instead of this if not jpg then continue that is even better uh, all right okay so what we are going to do now is so this is just looping over all the faces detector should be here everything is correct this detect faces needs to go here and instead of image what i need mm, okay yeah the, these images these things will all go here all right so how these things will go instead of image path what i need file path instead of image path i need file path all right so now it's all making sense now here i'm going to do something interesting so i don't want multiple faces okay so if len is um, okay so len of faces is greater than or is not equal to one all right so what i want to do here is i want to continue all right so i don't want any you know like any case in which there are two people i just want that's it like so this loop is uh, basically going to run only once which kind of okay let me remove all these commands which is kind of stupid but it's fine okay so here some ml bullshit to detect smile not ml some uh, old school bullshit i guess yeah okay so here we are going to get like our okay so what what should i do should i first show you what the output will look like or should i um uh, okay let me first show you okay let's just first go through everything so here uh i guess that's it yeah let me save it let me just run it and see so it's going to loop over all the images wait 
<laughs> you know, usually I play music, which makes things look okay. So it's ignoring every. If there are more than one face, then then it's ignoring. So it's not smiling according to ML. So this is interesting. Like we are not getting images where you know there are more than one person. We are only getting images where you know there is only one guy. So wow, not smile. Fuck this AI. Seriously, my previous one was working better because in that AI it was a smile. All right, so it it happened, guys. It sucks sometimes. I guess I can change the threshold. I have to change the threshold to how can this is not a smile? Okay. You know, as a human, you can tell it's a smile, but this is like, we can't expect this from AI. Because it's in a loop, so loop is not going to end. I, maybe I should write some code to do it. So, oh God, it's time to change some threshold to see. So let's just put threshold to Okay, so now after doing some debugging, I feel like I'm ready to go. All right, so let me just quickly save it and try to run it. So I'm putting these labels here and this is kind of like my old code threshold is like a confidence and I'm writing on the image, the labels and also the boxes. And I'm just trying to check it, but there are so many garbage images. So this is neutral. This is good. We are making progress. This is the smile, so it, it is working better. Why? Why? All right, so sometimes uh, because of the hat, it um, it doesn't detect properly. So there are multiple faces. We don't really care about multiple faces. So this is a smile. So hat is an issue, but it's fine. All right, that, that was a smile. So it's working quite correctly and we are not able to see face. So this is a smile. I guess this is it. Like we can now call it uh, a working program. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill this for a second. And instead of, you know, printing all of this, I just want to move it. So how to move, how to move a file, sure, util, sure, a Python and just move a file. So import sure util. And then here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make I'm going to make a directory inside this directory, which is smile. All right. So in smile, I just want to put all the images where you know, the person is smiling. But before any of that, let me just quickly add this case where, you know, if we got, if we get more than one face, then ignore, ignore, I guess then ignore. All right. And after that, let me just quickly push uh, util dot move. And what is the file name file path? Okay. File path. And here I just want to put this smile directory and that's it. Let me just quickly save it and maybe run it. Is that everything fine? I guess. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't really need these things. Um, let me just comment out. So what, uh, this script is going to do now is it's just going to detect every image where one person is smiling and then it's going to put in this directory. And this is what I want. And now we just have to monitor this directory, uh, which is this directory uh, in the below. Okay, this directory. And we are going to get some images here. All right, hopefully. Watch wc minus uh, lf jpg wc minus l. Is it going to work? Yeah. So we got one image, by the way. All right, so the, the number is going to get detected. So as you can see, all the images I'm getting is where Pema Lotus is smiling, which is cool. So now this thing is going to take some time. So what I'm planning to do is just pause this recording and maybe do it later. All right. So 